afternoon. So the question I have today for all of you is, what is the value of a Nigerian life? If you had to put a number on it, how much would you guess? So I'm actually asking you, so I want you to answer. It's not a speech. What number? If you had to put a number on it? Anyone? 500,000? Huh? Five naira. Huh? More? More? Less? More? 10 billion. More than that. Priceless. Okay. So let me give you a context. So imagine that you have someone who's close to you, a woman, she's pregnant, she's gone to a hospital to give birth, right? And she starts bleeding. Then she bleeds and bleeds and dies. How much would you imagine and how much would you demand from the institution that failed to ensure that the hospital where she went to give birth had enough blood and had enough injections and had enough everything that she needed to live. So that's the context. What really is the value of one Nigerian life? So we did the math and we found two formulas. The first one is called Kali. It is Quality Adjusted Life Year. It's generally used to figure out what intervention, what medical intervention you are gonna give to a particular community. How much should you value the life that you give to people by building medical interventions? Then we found a different formula. This one is a sort of like a GDP-based formula. And what it does is it was created by Dr. Ted Miller, who crunched, crunched some numbers and gave a formula that says, if you take the GDP per capita of a particular economy and you multiply it by 120, you get the value of that human life in that community. So we did the math and we found the number for Nigeria. It is 86 million Naira. So each Nigerian life is worth 86 million Naira. So that's the context of what I'm going to talk to you about today. I started this speech with something, I mentioned a woman who was given birth. What do we really believe a woman's life is worth? When they go to the hospital and they get pregnant and they give birth, what is the value we are attaching to what they're giving to our community? What is the value that we attach, not, to their, not just to their life, which is important, but to the process of giving birth, the process of giving life. The saddest part, and the thing that always bothers me the most, is that we don't even know. We have never bothered, as a people, to count each and every woman who has died in childbirth. How much more are we, tell what, what are we telling them? That their life is so worthless, that what we are, the service they are providing to our community is worth nothing, that we have never bothered to count them, to bear witness to the service they have given us. So the UNFPA did crunch some numbers all over the world, and they said every two minutes, a woman dies in childbirth. And by the way, Nigeria has the second largest cumulative number of childbirth deaths in the entire world. India is number one, and Nigeria is number two. And yet, we've never bothered to count. Our government says it's 58,000 women every year. But that's just extrapolation. There are many women whose lives, whose service, whose death, nobody bears witness to. The fact that we don't know bothers me greatly. Because we can't even charge the government for all this death. We can't charge our community for all this death. We don't have the number. So before I move on, I'll ask you, how many of you have a mom? Raise your hand if you have a mom. If you were born by a woman, please raise your hand. Huh? So mothers matter. The reason why you're all sitting in this room is because somebody, a woman, somewhere, took the risk at the cost of death to give you life. Mothers matter. 
and mothers matter greatly. Mothers matter to the economy. Mothers matter to the, to the health of the family. Mothers matter particularly to the children who they give birth to. A few years ago in Kenya, a group of researchers came together and followed the life of 53 children who had lost their moms during childbirth. A year later, they went back to check on those children. 75% of them had died before they turned one. That is how important the survivor of a woman in childbirth to the survivor of the child she just gave birth to. It is important to the economy. It is important to the family. It is important, essential to the world. Mothers matter. And we know that it's possible to do. We know that we can get it done. In Kyrgyzstan in 2012, zero women died in childbirth. So we know that it can be done. Countries like Poland, Finland, Iceland, Greece came close to that number of zero multiple times. And Greece has been the country with the lowest number of childbirth deaths consistently in the world. The reason why is because they believe mothers matter. We know what to do to save every mother. We absolutely know. We know that we need to invest in infrastructure. We know that we need to build innovation that will save lives. We know that we need to invest in our health system. Everybody knows. And I know a colleague of mine is going to come on this stage in a few hours and tell you exactly how to do that. So we know that it's possible. We know what to do. So why are we saying, through our silence, through our lack of bearing witness, that moms don't matter? At Life Bank, we've been working to get this done. In the last three years, I run this company trying to ensure that every hospital who needs blood gets access to the blood they need. We've saved about 2,500 lives since then. And the reason why I do this work is because I believe every single day that mothers matter. So I want to ask you to do one thing for me. Can you imagine a world where zero maternal death occurs? Can you imagine a Nigeria where every single mother, every single pregnant woman who goes to the hospital, come back home with her baby? Can you imagine that world? I think it's possible. And every day when I wake up, it is the work that I do. My mission is to bring that 58,000 death that our government gives us, that extrapolation, to zero. And I hope you join my mission. Before I move forward, I'd like to tell you about two women who best exemplifies this spirit of Mission Zero and who joined this movement even before a movement occurred. They are Seifura Ahmed and Awa Belu. Seifura and Awa are from the north of Nigeria. They were young women. They had studied midwifery, right? All they did was to want to help women who give birth in the most vulnerable community in our country, in Maiduguri, northern Bonu. These women, rather than go away, come to Lagos, go to Abuja to get better services, better, better health care, or even better jobs, decided to stay in Bonu and did the work of helping women who are the most vulnerable member of our society get access to health care. Because of this, Boko Haram captured them. They asked them to kneel down, and they shot them, both of these women. These two women best exemplifies the spirit of service. They exemplify this spirit that mothers matter. They matter. So today I would like to ask you, I'm about to leave, and I'll ask, I'd like to ask you one thing, that you agree and decide to honor the woman who gave you life, that you agree and decide to honor these two women whose story I just told you, and to join us to say mothers matter, and to join us to build a world where zero women would die in childbirth. Thank you.